Hello, welcome to the European Open Briefing for Friday, June 29th. I'm Rafi Bayajan, currency analyst at XM.com, and we're going to be taking a look at what's happening in the currency markets today. The euro is the best performer this morning. It jumped higher after EU leaders reached the deal on the migration issue, boosting uh, EU unity. The dollar is retreating, though it's down by around a half percent. The dollar index, there we can see, uh, moving away from those uh, 11 months highs. Uh, but uh, in a further boost to risk sentiment this morning, other than the uh, the EU migration deal, uh, China announced that it is relaxing rules on foreign investment uh, into key sectors in the Chinese uh, market. Uh, that's uh, eased a little bit uh, the right the recent. Um, uh, trade tensions uh, which had uh, been escalating. We can see uh, most Asian indices sharply higher, in particular Chinese stocks, uh, Chinese indices, the CSI 300 and the Shanghai Shenzhen Composite Index, uh, both uh, well above uh, 2%. We also have a positive open in Europe uh, as well. Uh, so the euro, we can see, is broadly higher this morning, uh, but the pound um, is still somewhat being weighed by the lack of talks uh, in the Brexit negotiations, we didn't get much um, uh, progress uh, at the EU summit. Uh, so the, although the pound is up against the dollar, up by around 0.3% uh, overall, um, it's it's mixed against other currencies and overall uh, it does remain uh, in a bearish uh, phase. The Aussie and the Kiwi though did get a boost from the risk on sentiment this morning. We can see the Aussie is, is one of the other big gainers this morning, up by 0.4% against the US dollar and the Kiwi moving away from two months low it's also firmer. Uh, the Canadian dollar is extending its gains following those hawkish remarks by uh, Bank of Canada Governor Stephen Polos as well as uh, big gains in oil prices yesterday, although today oil prices uh, are slightly lower. Uh, and if we now look at the main movers, we can see the euro at the top of the table, euro yen uh, and euro dollar uh, both doing very well. Uh, and then uh, we've got the um, uh, Aussie dollar not too far uh, away from that. At the bottom of the table though we've got the dollar index and uh, oil uh, prices. Uh, so the dollar yen we can see uh, despite the dollar falling against other currencies the yen is broadly weaker this morning so dollar yen uh, is up on the day uh, and uh, is once again heading towards uh, that resistance around 110.80 uh, so the we did see China announcing a relaxation of rules into uh, of foreign investment into uh, the banking, automotive, and other key sectors that could help ease uh, tensions with the U.S. over trade policy. Uh, and although the dollar is uh, broadly weaker th this morning, it does it is on track for weekly gains as well as um, to make its first quarterly gain since the fourth quarter of 2016. But we do have important data coming out of the US later today uh, in terms of the personal consumption and PCE uh, inflation. Let's now turn to the euro because we can see that big jump there following the deal uh, by EU leaders uh, to uh, strengthen uh, external borders uh, as well as set up migrant processing centers in Turkey and North Afri Africa, uh, which has pleased the Italian uh, government uh, and could also help Merkel avoid a further crisis in her conservative uh, coalition between the CDU and the CSU. Uh, the euro dollar had fallen to 1.1525 yesterday. Uh, it uh, came close to reaching 1.1670. It's slightly lower going into the European uh, Open. Uh, and let's now look at, again at the Canadian dollar uh, because following up from yesterday where we um, talked about the hawkish remarks from uh, Stephen Polos on Wednesday. Uh, it's, we're still seeing a continuation of that reversal in the uh, rate hike odds for uh, the for a rate hike at the July 11 meeting by the Bank of Canada. Uh, so uh, those expectations have uh, driven the loonie higher and USD CAD uh, low. We can see USD CAD currently trading around 1.3220. We do have uh, monthly GDP numbers coming out of Canada later today. If those are positive, uh, we could see a uh, further boost to those rate hike uh, expectations. In addition, we saw WTI uh, surging to three and a half year high yesterday, touching $74 uh, a 
barrel, uh, although prices are off those highs today overall, uh, the bullish oil market is also helping uh, Duluni. Uh, and finally, before we go, let's look at today's economic calendar. We, could, we did have a number of um, data out of Japan. We saw further tightening in Japan's labor market and industrial production fell by less than expected. We could, we've got the final GDP numbers for the UK for the first quarter coming up later on as well as the flash euros on inflation numbers for June and in the US we're going to have the PC uh, set of figures as well as Canadian GDP. That's it for me. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.